Hey, all right, welcome back. This is Bill Jellen. We have another Dueling Excel podcast. Mike came up with this week's problem, and boy, this is a tough one. Mike wants to do horizontal subtotals. Horizontal. Now, if the data was oriented vertically, boy, it'd be easy. Data subtotal at each change in month. Add the subtotal to the sales, and we'd be done. But you can't do that with horizontal. I'm actually, I hope that Mike has a cool tip in mind for this one, because to be honest, I'm going to be struggling. I select that whole data set. Go into the sort dialog. First thing, options. Say that we're going to sort left to right instead of top to bottom. Very unusual. We're going to sort on row one. And instead of sorting A to Z, I'm going to go into custom list and choose the month abbreviations. Click OK. Click OK. And that brings all the January together and then the February. Now I'm going to add a brand new calculation. Pick up. Now I'm going to add a brand new calculation here. It's called change. And I'm going to put a little formula in. Equal if this month. This column is equal to the previous column. Then I put a one. Otherwise, I put the letter A. Does not matter what those are, but it is important that one of them is numeric and the other one is not numeric. We'll copy that across. I want to change those formulas to values. So Control C, Alt E, S, V, Enter, and we're good to go there. Now I have that area selected. I'm going to go to Go to Special. So that's F5. And then special, we can also get to that under home, find and select, go to special. And I want to choose the constants that are text. That will get me the first month selected. And now that we have that, we'll insert column, Alt I, C, and bam, just like that, we get blank columns drawn in throughout the data set. At that point, I can now get rid of row four. And we're going to use a cool trick here. I'm going to start in that first blank cell and go all the way over to the right. Again, I'm going to use Go To Special, so F5 Special, select only the blanks. And now that I've selected just those blank cells, the Auto Sum button, Alt Equals, is very smart. It will very quickly go through and add in the correct subtotals. Format Column Auto Fit, we're good to go. To get the uh, month totals up there, start from the first blank, go over to the last blank. Again, F5 Special Blanks, and Equal, left arrow, control enter, it puts our totals in. Maybe I'll put those control B to put them in bold. And there you have it, horizontal subtotals. Wow, again, I'm going to throw this over to Mike. I hope he has something much cooler in mind than what I had to go through. Mike? Thanks, Mr. Excel. Wow, I hope you guys had your pencil and paper out. There were so many great tricks in that. Go to blank, sort horizontally and sort custom so you get January February now what mr. Excel did uh, he actually simulated exactly what subtotals vertically does he inserted a, a whole column here like the ver the subtotals insert rows with a, a label here a blank and then whatever the subtotals I do not know how to do that so I'm gonna have to do it slightly a different way I'm gonna uh, click on this sheet right here now I gotta show you how easy it is to do subtotals vertically. This question about horizontal subtotals came from someone at YouTube and they just gotta tell their boss basically here's how to do it vertically and it's much easier so let's do it this way. Uh, to sort, um, to subtotal you need to sort the field you wanna add subtotals to. So I've already sorted this and to subtotal in 2007 I go to the data ribbon and subtotal in earlier versions you click in one cell and do the data menu subtotals which is alt db and then it's very simple because I've already sorted I say at each change in month sums uh, function subtotals at sales because that's what I want to add up and then click OK just like that boom subtotals for January subtotals for February now here's what I did uh, <clears throat> I didn't insert uh, columns but I added a totals row and I actually want to do a formula here that will put a blank in the cell if we're still at January but do a subtotal if we get to uh, the end the last month for this period so here's the formula I did equals if and a logical test is going to be one two three cells above is this label not and not is less than greater than is that not equal to whatever the next label is that way when we get take this formula over to here the H column it's looking at label January label February they are not equal so that's where we want our subtotal comma now the sub 
so that, that's a logical test. The value if true, which means these are not equal, is going to just be sum if. So equals sum if. And there's a range and a criteria. The criteria goes with the range. And then, of course, the screen tip says some range. Those are the things we want to add. So the range we're going to evaluate, I'm going to click in this cell, Control Shift right arrow, and then F4 to lock it and jump the screen back in view, comma, and the criteria is going to be one, two, three cells above. Because when we get over to this column, right, we want to subtotal it. All it needs to do is look at that label, comma, and then the sum range is this. Control Shift right arrow and F4. Close parentheses and notice the screen tip tells us, oh, oh, that's our value for true for the if formula. So we type a comma and the value if false is going to, of course, be double quote, double quote for blank. Close parentheses, Control Enter. Now I'm going to drag this over. And uh, it looks like it got our uh, totals. Now, uh, one last thing, since I couldn't insert a column and do all that cool stuff, maybe I'll, I'll do some uh, conditional formatting so we get a color here and a color here to visually indicate that these are the subtotals. I'm going to highlight this whole row here. Boop. Use the scroll arrow to come back. And watch this. I'm going to hold Control and click right here, drag all the way to the end. Actually, let me do that a much cooler way. Watch this, Control, Shift. Uh, right arrow, and then I'm going to scroll back holding Control. I'm going to click here, and then after I've clicked there, I'm going to Control Shift right arrow. So we can do that selection trick on non contiguous cells. There it is, um, non contiguous ranges. The, we want to do conditional formatting. The active cell is right there, so we're going to do a true false formula. Now in 2007, you go to Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rules. In earlier versions, you go to the Format menu. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, Alt-O-D, Alt-O-D. In this version, you click on New uh, Rule and then Formula down here and click in this uh, text box. In earlier versions, you click the first drop down and point to Formula Is. Now, what is our true-false formula going to be for all of these cells? Well, we're always going to ask, is this? But notice there's two dollar signs. Hit the F4 key because we want dollar sign just in front of the row. So when the formula in memory, the true-false formula, gets copied down here to this cell, it's still looking at that uh, January. Not the next one, and we need to lock that also in front of the row. That's the true-false formula. I'm going to click Format. I'm going to click Fill. That used to say Patterns, Red, Font. I'm going to click on this white. Because the value of the color red, this doesn't you don't think of this as a dark color, but the value of it is dark. And so I'm going to use, oops, I didn't get the right format. The value is quite dark, so I'm going to select a light colored font. Click OK, I'll click OK. And sure enough, now we have our conditional formatting. Now, um, OK, so that's uh, horizontal subtotals. Now, if you want to see something ridiculous here, I'm going to click on this uh, Sheet tab. And you can always download the workbooks you see uh, from the Excel is Fun channel. There's that one. I'm going to click on this Dynamic. Now, I did something ridiculous here. I wanted to be able to uh, sort by either month or by sales rep. So I have this formula here, Total Ridiculous Formula. What you should do is if uh, your boss, you should take this formula and say, hey, boss, you can uh, use this little thing I made for you if you can tell me what this formula means and the logic of it. If they can't, then you say, no, no, no. You have to just use the automatic subtotal features and change this data to, to vertical. Uh, that formula right there, the way it works, and you can read this right here, is you got to do two things. You got to sort, and I'm going to sort by sales rep. In 2007, you can right click sort, custom, and I'm going to say uh, row two because that's the one I want to sort on. And I don't want this. I want uh, A to Z. So watch this. When I do this, it's going to mess it up for a second. But immediately, I'm going to come down here and now change this to sales rep. And now that formula got it right. So this, this setup here allows you to do um, sort by either one of the fields. All right, uh, we'll see you next, uh, Mr. Excel and Excel is fun trick.
Hey, all right, Mike, those were great. I love that idea of just adding the subtitles down in the bottom row. And also your uh, <laughs> comment, if your manager can figure out how this works, he can do horizontal subtotals. Otherwise, go with vertical. Of course, it's so much easier to do vertical. All right, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.